Hey everyone, welcome back to Pabli and in this video, I would like to share with you an amazing automation which will let you effectively resolve your customer queries when their payment fails while purchasing your products. So let me show you how. So here we have taken the example or the use case in which someone is taking the payments via Razorpay and uh, they are using high level or go high level application as a CRM to interact with their customers. Now, if the payment of any customer is failed in Razorpay while making the payment, a task will be automatically created in high level application to resolve this issue of payment failure. And this is going to happen automatically as and when the payment fails. You need not to manually see whose payment is failing and create a task manually here. Okay, so it is going to save a lot of your crucial time and energy and you can resolve your customer's queries effectively in, uh, in less amount of time. Okay, and to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account. So for this, you can check the link in the description. We have pasted for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. OK, after signing up, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. And on this page, you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give any suitable name to this workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as on payment failure in razor pay create task and go high level automatically. Okay, now you can click here on this create button. And you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And guys on this page, you will find these two things the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on uh, these two things, the trigger and the action. So the trigger here is the happening of any e any specific event. So it is saying when this happens, action is the response to the trigger. So it is saying Pabli Connect do this. All right. As in our use case, the trigger would be a payment failure via Razor Pay, and the action to that trigger would be to create a task and go high level application. Okay, to resolve that payment failure issue. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger here and from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application, which is razor pay in our case. Okay. So select this application. Then you have to select the trigger event as a uh, payment failed. So you can see here, it will trigger this workflow when a payment is marked as failed or any unsuccessful transaction is marked as failed. Okay. So select this and it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys, and it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pabli Connect. So with the help of this, we are going to connect our Razor Pay payment page and we are going to fetch the details of a demo failure of payment via Razor Pay. Okay. So you can read the instructions written here. Let me show you how we can do this. Uh, first of all, you just have to copy this webhook URL from here and then you have to reach your Razor Pay dashboard. And from this Razor Pay dashboard, you have to find out the payment pages uh where you are oh, sorry you don't have to go to payment pages now you have to go to the settings icon here on the left hand side bottom left hand side click on settings and from the settings page you will find this webhooks tab click on webhooks okay and from here you have to add a new webhook by clicking on this add new webhook button and here in this webhook url field you have to paste the webhook url that you have copied from pabli connect like this okay and in this active events, you have to check this payment dot failed option. So you can read the instruction here. It is written select the payment dot failed option. OK, so select this payment dot failed. OK, then you have to click here on this create webhook button. And you can see a new webhook is saved here successfully. OK, and you can see here as you have copied the webhook URL from your workflow, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission or you have to create a, a demo failure of payment in uh, via razor pay so that we can capture the data of a payment failure here. And with the help of that data only, we are going to move forward. Okay. So I'm going back to my razor pay payment 
pages link okay this is the dashboard and i am opening the payment pages and let me select here any product that i am selling so let's say i'm opening this core php programming course why razor pay payment pages so here i'm opening the link of this payment page so this is the link i have that i've copied and i'm paste and i'm opening it in a new tab okay here you can see this is the payment page of this core php programming course and here we have selected the course and let me enter the details of any customer who is making the payment for this course so i have put it here uh, the name of the person as john cena this, this is the email id and this is the phone number and i'm clicking on pay here okay so we are in test mode so i'm using a test card details here to make the payment okay this is the card holders name okay right and i am clicking on pay here and from this uh, from this payment page you can see the demo bank page i am going to cancel this payment okay so it is has sent us a otp but i am going to cancel this payment i don't i'm not completing this payment so you can see are you sure you want to cancel the payment yes cancel so it is it will be a case of payment failure okay now let's check in public connect if we fetch the details of this payment failure in public connect so you can see here in this response received section we got the details of a pay failed payment as this the event is fa payment dot failed okay and this is the details of of, uh, of the payment failure this is the amount this is the currency this is the status of the payment as failed okay and these are the details of the customer as well okay and the course name as well so th this is how you can capture the details of a payment failure okay now to resolve this issue i want to create a task in go high level application and the team working on go high level is going to interact with the customer about this payment failure okay so so this payment failure can be of any type it can be a technical issue or it uh, it can be of any type of failure so for that i want to create a task and go high level application for my team but guys uh, when you create a task and go high, high level application you need to fill a due date also in at which date you want to close this task or issue that you have raised okay so for that i want to uh, let's say i want to resolve this issue in two days okay so i have to put a due date in the uh, i have to put a due date in this in that task for that to fetch the due date i am using a feature by pably which is called date time formatter so here i am typing date time formatter in the sections tab and here in the section events i am going to use uh, add or subtract time option so you can see the, we have this add or subtract time okay then click on connect and here it will ask for these things the date the from format and the to format so you can see in this first tab where we have captured the data of a payment failure in this label created add we have this string of numbers so this string of numbers is the time stamp so with the help of this time stamp we are going to uh, fetch the date and time of the payment failure and we are going to convert it and we'll add two days more to that date on which the payment got failed and within to those two days the issue is going to be resolved by our team okay so here in this date label i'm going to map that created at timestamp that we have here in this first step this one okay now so i let me come back to this date field and click here and you will find this razor pay payment failed option in the drop down and from here when you click you will see all the data that you have received in the first step and from here only i'm going to map the created at timestamp okay like this so it is asking now from which format you want to uh, convert the date so our from format is the timestamp format this one you can see the timestamp written here select this and in which format you want the date so i want the date let's say in this yymndt format okay and in the expressions I want to put uh, or you can uh, select another format also let me select this plain format yymmdd without time okay and in the expressions I want to add two more days to the date of payment failure and within those two days and that uh, 
date after two days the date will be the due date of our task okay so i'm putting here plus two okay and i'm clicking on save and send test request and so here you can see it is showing us this kind of result but uh, it is not showing the correct date it is showing 2001 okay because we have put the expression wrong here you have to put the expressions in this format you can see you have to put plus two days also so you have to put here plus two days okay now i think it will give us the correct results and now you can see it is showing us this date 24022022 okay and today's date is so today's date is 22nd and it is given us the date of two days after today's date so at this so this will be the due date of the uh, task that we are going to create in high level application okay so now to create a task in go high level you have to click here on this plus icon and from this another action step you have to connect high level application here okay this is high level and now in the action event you have to select create task option this is create a new task option and click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it will ask for this token or the api key to make the connection with go high level so you can read the instructions here you can find this key by logging into high level and going to the settings and in the company section you will find the key so let me show you how you can find this this is my high level applications dashboard guys and from here you can click on this uh, okay so you can find the settings on this left hand side panel here in the last this is the settings click on settings so here under the settings you will find this api key tab click on api keys and on under this api keys you will find this api key like this okay so you can uh, create a new key by clicking here on create new or you can use the keys that you have already generated so i'm just clicking on this key here i'm copying this key and i'm pasting this key here in this token field okay and then click on save and you will be connected with high level like this okay now it is asking for the contact id the title the description the due date and all these things to create a task in high level application so we are going to use this demo data that we have received in the first step here uh, via razor pay so here after getting connected with high level application it will ask for this contact id so from this list you have to select uh, the contact id that you have in uh, go high level application so in high level application you can have many contacts there and you have to select uh, the email id of any contact under which you want to create this task so here i'm selecting this ashirai24 at the gmail.com contact and here in this title you can enter the title of the task so for i'm going to map the title of the task from the first step uh, from here okay so i'm going to map the data that we have received in the first step from razor pay here okay so here in this data in the first tab we have this event label which is showing payment dot failed so i'm let's use this label only as the title of our task so here i'm mapping this uh, label here from this razor pay you can find out this label which is showing payment dot failed so i'm mapping this event label here and in the description i'm going to map the description from the razor pay step so you will find the description of the uh, payment failure as this you can see here is the error description payment processing cancelled by the user so select this now it is asking for the due date so here i am going to use this second step in which i have fetched out the due date which is the two days after the date of payment failure so under these two days we want to resolve this issue so i have applied a due date here and I, you can assign this task here from this list it will show you the name of the uh, the team members you have it will show you the email ids of those team members you can assign the task to and here you can mention the status of the payment as com uh, or the task as completed or incomplete so incompleted so here i am putting incompleted okay now you can check your connection with high level application if it is working fine or not so here is my high level applications dashboard guys and here i'm going to select the account in which i'm working which is re associates and here on this left hand side panel you will find this contacts list so i'm opening contacts list and here let me show you the contact id that i have selected 
so you will find this contact ID. Here is the contact ID. I'm opening it. And under this task section, you will find out the task that you want to create. Okay. So first of all, uh, I'm going back to my workflow. And here in the title and the description, I, we have mapped such things. And let me fill the description more clearly. So I have entered the uh, this description which I get from the razor pay and here I'm going to mention the user the person's name as well and the contact details as well so the customer name I'm putting here customer name is okay and the email ID of the customer okay now you can map both of these things from the first step. So I'm mapping the name of the customer here. So you can see here this razor pay payment failed option in the and from here I'm going to map the name of the customer. So this is the name. Let me map the full name. Sorry, not here. So I have mapped the whole description as this, the description of the error of the payment, the customer name and the email ID of the customer. Okay. Now let's check our connection. If our connection with high level is working properly or not. So I'm clicking on save and send test request here. And you can see this is the message we have received. Okay. So it is showing here in this message that the due date must be in this format. Okay. So we have mapped the wrong format of the due date. So let me, uh, correct this this step I'm going back to my second step guys and here in this uh, second step in which I have at uh, in which I have at the time created time by plus two days I'm selecting the two format here this one yy mmdd and a t in between and the hours minutes and second format now I'm going to uh, convert this date again I'm clicking on save and send test request and here we got the date again. Now I'm going to map it here in this due date field. Okay. From the second step, I have mapped the results again, result label again, and I'm going to click on save and send test request now. And here you can see it has created a new task with this ID. Let me show you in my uh, high level application. So here I'm refreshing this page and here you can see we got a new task generated here of which the due date is in two, two days and it is showing payment processing cancelled by the user. Customer name is John Cena. Email ID is this and it's a, it is assigned to Mr. Madan Malvi. Okay. So this is how it is going to happen in real time guys. So uh, we are done setting up this automation. Let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in the first trigger step, I connected razor pay and with the help of this webhook URL, I fetched the details of a payment failure like this. After that, I fetched the due date by applying date time formatter and with the help of this timestamp that we have received from the first step, I have added, I have added two more days to get a new due date, which was this. Okay. And I have mapped the details in high level application to create a task in the third step like this. And as I've tested our uh, connection, we have seen that our connection was working fine and a new task is created here. Okay. And guys, you have to set up this automation and make the connections and map the data only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that in real time as and when you get a payment failure from razor pay a new task will be generated in high level application automatically okay and guys the good part is you can use this same workflow that i've just created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.